All right, dudes and dudettes, welcome back to Feed the Beast Endeavor. Guys, hope you're all having a fantastic day, because today we're going to be getting into refined storage, peeps. So let's get started. So off camera, guys, went ahead and made a couple seeds here. As you can see, we got some silicone seeds, got some iron and enriched iron here. If we look at the uses here, enriched iron is just three iron and one nether quartz here. This is very vital in uh, refined storage. So we're gonna grab a bunch of this here. Well, not really a bunch, uh, but just oh no, no, put the seed back. Yeah. So and then I've also got uh, I believe two up here. Yes, two of these guys. Two count them two. So we got a total of 112. And let's go ahead and get these crafted into silicone because this is a very vital part for the mod. Perfect. And I also accidentally broke all of my chests. So yeah, everything's everywhere. <laughs> All right, so what we're going to go ahead and need to get here, we need to look into at refined storage. We're going to need a uh, controller, which is the brain of the system here. We're going to need a crafting grid to craft items and look into all of the items we have stored. We're going to need a, a disk drive. Here he is over there, and then we're going to need a few disks. So we're just going to put the uh, 1K storage part here for now. So in order to make the controller, which is our first step, we need three silicone, we need a machine casing, and the quartz enriched iron, as well as an advanced processor. Now the advanced processor is uh, made up of, of a couple things, starting with this. It's typically the most the hardest thing to get, which is the slime ball and two string. The slime is typically the hardest. But the cool thing is, is we have a bunch of slime. I've actually already crafted up a little bit of this, so let's go ahead and see if we can find it. Um, doo -doo -doo. Yes, here we go. We got the processor binding here. I have a bunch of more quartz enriched um, iron there as well. We'll make some more. Uh, yeah. yeah. That was weird. All right, we're going to need some gold. We're going to need some iron. Where did you come from? Where did you go? Where's my iron? There it is. All right, so then we have those, and I believe we have enough to make everything. Uh, do I need uh, redstone as well? That's what I needed. Okay, perfect. So let's go ahead and make these guys up. So we do have to go ahead and smelt them, but we can make a full stack. Uh, pay no attention to that. I was testing some stuff out earlier. So we already have a little bit of those. We can go ahead and make some more. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Oh, we're missing more of the binding. Cool thing is I have a bunch. All right, and then... Doo -doo -doo -doo. We need to make the iron ones. Perfect. All right, so these are going to be smelting up, and these are going to be smelting up. Cool. So we're going to go ahead and wait a little bit here for those. Uh, we need to go ahead and get a little bit of smooth stone crafted up so we can go ahead and create the controller. Uh, this is kind of like the heart of it, the machine casing. It does require some uh, stone here. I like using stone. You don't have to use it, but I'm going to. So, yes. Bam. There we go. And then there we go. We should have everything. Yep, we do have everything for the controller. Bam. So this gets charged from my flux capacitor in my inventory here. Uh, it's not using. We're not using any power, so it's just going to sit here as a power bank. So we can hit A, get rid of that. Now we need to move over to the crafting grid, which does require us to make a grid, uh, which will require a bunch of the iron basic processors, glowstone, and nether quartz. I do have a glowstone somewhere in here. I do need to make these into seeds, but we'll be worrying about that in the next episode. Um, next episode's going to be sweet. Really excited for it. I think you guys will love it. I've got glowstone somewhere. I just went to the nether and got it like a little bit ago. Am I blind? Aha, I'm blind. So there we go. We got the glowstone there. We got the quartz here. All right, that should be everything we need for this. Let's go ahead and grab these guys. We just need two of them. Should be bing and bong. Perfect. There we go. All right, so we got those two guys. If we look here. Yeah, we just need another machine casing and three glass. Three. Actually, I grabbed four. And then I believe we're... There we go. There's my other machine casings. Perfect. So if we go here, like, oh, missed, missed that. There we go. 
Bam, grid. Now we can turn it into a crafting grid with you and a crafting table. I would use the one down here uh, toward the bottom, but if I use that, I can't craft anything else up on it, and we don't want to do that. Frick, this is tough. Not tough, but frustrating. All right. Crafting table, say you va. All right, and crafting grid is ours. Perfect. There we go. So now we can access anything in here. And then as you can see, uh, this is using 4FE per tick. So it's, it's starting to use that. Uh, so let's go ahead and get rid of that out of there, this as well, and we're getting to the disk drive. So this requires the, the machine casing and the quartz there. So I actually believe we have everything but the chests, so we will go ahead and make some up. All right, there we go, and bam, we have an ME drive that we can put uh, stuff into. So now we can get rid of that guy. And let's see, we just need more glass. And what else do we need? Redstone, we can make a 1K guy. Perfect, how many of these guys can we make? We make another one, cool. So use is here, we need more glass. And we can put a 1K in, bam. So now if we look here, we got item storage. <gasps> so cool. All right, so we got some more disk drives made up here. And if we check, bam, look at all that. I already have a couple of 16K storage drives. It's not like I totally recorded the entire episode of this and then found out that my microphone was not set to the correct thing. So let's go ahead and condense all of these guys into this. So I'm going to go ahead and start this process here. I just want to show you guys what we got. And then every time this goes low, I'm going to actually just pick it up like this and put it over, and as you can see, it charges it back up because we have the, the flux capacitor here. So I'm going to move these over here, and then I'll show you guys what we're doing after that. All right, guys, so everything's been transferred over from all the chests into our storage here. So very excited about that. Check it out. Look at that. All of our items at our fingertips whenever we need. So very cool. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and put these guys in there so we can craft some stuff up. And then do we have any more silicone? I don't believe so. We'll have to get more of that made up as well. Uh, oh, we do have a little bit of silicone in here. Perfect. So uh, we need to go ahead, and I believe we have another dot. Yes, we do. Perfect. Uh, we're going to go ahead and make an exporter or an export thing. Um, let's show, I'll show you here. An export guy, exporter. Uh, so we need to go ahead. I'm going to make the cables. I do have some already, uh, but I'm just going to make some more. I'm uh, going to go ahead and make this guy as well, and then an exporter like so. So we're going to be putting this over here. Um, let's check this out if we go like this, and then we can put the exporter here. We're going to set this to coal already before we even get it over here uh, like that. And then all we got to do is just move all of our items over. Um, we don't need this here anymore. And let's have some fun. All right. So all of our items that we currently own are in our inventory, which is uh, a, little, a little unnerving, not going to lie. Uh, but if we put this guy here, we can put this guy here, this guy here. And like that, and then we're just going to put the 16K guys over here. Uh, we're going to put the 4K guys here, and then the 1K guy here. All right, and if we look at this, you can see that it is getting, items are getting pumped into here. This is getting charged up, and this is now running off of itself. Very cool. So now, as long as we have coal in here, we do not need to worry about this thing running out of power. We can also set it to put blaze rods in there after like coal runs out for a backup, which we're probably going to do because that would be amazing. But uh, yeah, we have this thing set up. Uh, very cool. I want to get into uh, auto crafting a little bit today as well. So we're going to need these crafters here. Um, so let's get these guys crafted up. As you can see, we need some more construction cores. We're going to make three of these guys. So... Let's just do that, and then we're going to make three more of these. All right, so we have three crafters now. Very cool. Uh, we don't need these to be put in any special way. 
We don't want them to look dumb, though, that's for sure. So I'm thinking something like this. Oh, the ladder. Okay. Those look okay. Uh, I believe these just act like automated crafting tables now. Uh, we don't have... Well, we're probably not going to be able to do it just like this because we do need um, a crafting... No, not a crafting monitor. We need a crafting guy. Pattern grid. That's what we need. Okay. So pattern grid. Wow, that's very similar. I'm gonna make. I'm gonna make a few of those. We have you here. Perfect. We do have. Oh, that's a. I'm confused. Did I click the wrong thing? I don't know. I don't know. We're just going to make the pattern grid. Um, so yeah, we should have everything to make this. Uh, we need to make a couple pattern. Well, we just need to make one pattern for now. And then that should be good to go. Yes. Perfect. Um, we're going to put this guy right here. And then this guy on top of him. Yep. There we go. All right. Those are all connected. Now we need to make a bunch more patterns for that. Where are you at? Patterns. There you are, patterns. Okay. 25. You know what's funnier than 24? Okay, so now we can go ahead and craft items up. Large, that way they're the same. Yep, okay. So let's have a look. We're going to go ahead and automate the 1Ks like so, and then put them in here. So now if we do 1K, take those guys out. Let's say, can we make 10? No, we're missing glass. Okay, but it does work. Uh, so that's great. Let's see. What else can we automate real quick? Uh, just to show you guys how to make it. We can automate spruce wood. Kind of lame, I know, but I, want, I just want to show you guys. All right, so say it says craft, we can go like this. Say we want 64, bam. And as you can see, yep, it's working. This is what's crafting it, and it's being crafted up for us. Very, very cool. All right, so auto crafting is kind of there. Uh, we're going to be putting our auto crafting, like, I guess, majority set up over here. Uh, so we need to get rid of those guys, put them away. We need to make another furnace which is a good one, a redstone furnace. Bam, uses power. All right, so bricks. Okay, copper gear. Oh, do we not have enough? Oh, we don't. We really out of copper. Oof, we really out of copper. We need to make copper seeds, bad, bad. All right, so we got all the stuff we need now. We don't need to go ahead and do any more mining. So we, I, at least I hope. Uh, so let's see here. What do we need? Just this guy? Cool. All right, that guy's been made. Bam, another redstone furnace. Yeah. Okay, so, well, um, I might not have thought this through all the way. So we're probably going to have to utilize the fact that you can export directly with a furnace. Um, yeah, that's where the cable's going to go. Because we're going to have to put the furnace here, and then we're going to put a chest to the left of it. Uh, so that we can take items and, like, I guess put them back in. Uh, so we need to actually make another crafter as well. We're going to be putting that underneath the furnace. Like so. Uh, we need to place it right. Here. Yep, perfect. That was right. We're going to need to grab some cable like this. Uh, so then we'll be able to craft good, but then we also need an importer to take the items out of the chest when it's done crafting. Okay. Very cool thing about uh, refined stars is you don't have to worry about channels. So that should connect up right away. Um, let's see here. Connect. We're going to place the chest like this and that like that. Cool.
cool. Slash homie. All right, and then can we? Cool. Ah, got to wait zero seconds, guys. Okay, so now this thing should theoretically be good, but then we need power. Ugh. I miss Ender IO so much. I really do. And then how are we? We can access it like that. Perfect. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Um, so things we need to smelt up, we can just automatically toss into there. If we use an exporter on that guy, like we run an exporter under there, we can put the ores that we get here. Uh, we're not going to be really doing a whole lot of mining, um, so probably actually won't be doing that. I lied. So let's see. Uh, what were we talking about? Oh, yeah, power. We need another dynamo. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Whoops, made 64. Whoops, made 64. Wait, I said that before it was even done. I must have thought about doing that. All right, now we need another exporter. Do I have one? Oh, I do. Check it out, guys. Check it out, G. All right. So then we have to do something like this. And then we got to get under there. Like that. Bam. There we go. Okay. That's all good. Now we're getting power. Um, so we're going to take items in. We're going to push them out to the left. Auto output enabled. Auto input uh, disabled because we're going to be forcing it in. So now uh, what do we need smelted? Let's say glass. We got sand. We got no glass. We're going to have to make some glass. I don't know why I use that one. All right, so to do that, we need to make this a processing crafting recipe. Uh, so this basically, we, we did, yeah. So processing is different from this one because uh, say if we were to put uh, the wood in here, right? It gives us the output, right? We would get a spruce chest. Well, if we do that on this guy, it's kind of like, well, what's the output gonna be? And you're just like, nothing. So anyway, we put the, the sand here, we put the glass here. This basically tells it that, hey, whatever this, whatever we put this in, it will turn the sand into the glass for us. And it's like, okay, that's pretty neat. And so then you just go ahead and put it in there. And then now, do we need some glass? We just go, give me that glass. Make 74. And as you can see, the sand is in here getting smelted up. Once it gets put into the chest, it's going to be like, hey, that's pretty neat. Good job. So then we're good to go. It's making the glass. And if we look here in our inventory, look, we already got five. Now we can go ahead and speed both of these up. We can uh, put more speed upgrades in here to put more items in. And then we can also make this faster with the augmentations. And then we can also make it grab faster from the importer by putting the speed upgrades in as well. I believe there's also a stack upgrade if I'm not mistaken. That, well, can I spell today? Let's see here. I believe it's like a stack. Yeah. So we can do it a stack. So you can do like one stack and then a bunch of speed upgrades. So it takes out a stack at a time. And then it's also faster than, than normal. Uh, let's see. Can we grab it? Yeah. So you put a stack upgrade and then it's three times as fast as well. So very helpful. Uh, this is also automated as well. So we don't need to touch it anymore. Very neato. All right, guys, so to finish it off, we're going to go ahead and make some water seeds and some dirt seeds. These will allow us to go ahead and make clay and different types of uh, materials, but we really want it for the, the clay here uh, so we can make more botany pots and scale it up and stuff like that. We can actually make sand, too. That's pretty cool. So let's go ahead and get this far departed. Uh, I got the four water agalomatic thingamabobbers. Look at the recipe here. It's just a bucket, gravel, dirt, and clay. You have to do that four times, so just so you know. Uh, we've got everything else here. So let's go ahead and sleep real quick. All right, there we go. Let's go ahead and go on down. So ooh, ooh, ooh. this is actually a recommendation uh, by uh, 
guy named John in the comments. Very cool. He said to uh, go ahead and get this automated here so you can make more botany pots and scale it up pretty good. And next episode, that guy's got a sword. Next episode, we're going to be working on a mystical agriculture place, so we gotta we got to get it working. So, freaking heck, leave me alone. Oh, that's baby. It's an enchanted baby. Jeez, that was a lot of damage he took. Okay, so bam, 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 and then we're going to do the water one first. There we go. Dunsky. All right. Then we're going to do the dirt ones next. All right. I've only got one botany pot here, so I'm going to need to go ahead and make another one real quick. Uh, but yeah, now that we have that, we can make some more. And we're going to have a, like a big room with a bunch of drawer controllers so we can all see it and automate it and stuff. It's going to be great. Trust me. Okay, so we need... Can we make any more of these? Well, we need to do some smelting of the clay. Alrighty. Go ahead and make one more of these guys. Bam. Okay, very cool. So, should have a couple more. Yep, sure do. And then we have the good essence. Or the good farmland. So, let's get this farty parted. Uh, we're going to put this guy probably here. Because we're going to be using it a lot to scale. Uh, so, premium farmland. And dirt and water seeds. Very cool. So what's the growth time on this? 35 seconds-ish. Uh, we can upgrade that to the Insanium. We definitely have enough essence here. Check it out. If we come over here, I did upgrade the storage. So we do have enough for these guys that have been taken out of here. But very cool. And then iron essence. We got some more essence here. Ooh, we're also getting some more silicone. So cool. I love it. I love it. All right, let's get this silicone crafted up real quick because it's handy. Look at that. Almost three stacks of silicone just by chilling. All right, and then let's go ahead and make some 1Ks too. So we should be able to craft these up no problem. Let's make, let's see. So it takes three to make a 4K and three 4Ks to make a 16K. Uh, so let's see, three times, that's three times... We need to make 27. Ah, we're missing. Why do we need dark glass? I have a recipe messed up. Yep, okay. So can we clean this recipe? I don't think we can. We got to remake it. Dang it. Not exact. We will use normal glass. Actually, we'll make it, we'll make it exact with normal glass. Okay, so now we should have no problem making up the 1Ks. Yep, there we go. And, yep, we're seeing them pile in. So cool. All right, now this guy. Is there a way to clear these? I mean, you could use it in a recipe, but other than that, it kind of be worthless. Okay, so then uses here. We can go ahead and make nine of those. Uses here. Go ahead and make three of those. Uses here. Bam, 64K. Uses here and... Oh. Extra storage. I didn't realize we had that mod. We can go even further beyond. Ha-ha! <laughs> So cool. So cool. So happy. This is great. Auto crafting for the win. Oh, we can also automate the making of uh, bricks as well. That's the word. There we go. Bam. Our first 64K, gentlemen and ladies. 
Look at that. We have more storage in there than all of these combined. So cool. So cool. We got all the storage. All right. That is going to wrap up the episode for today, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you all for joining me. You all are fantastic. I will see you all next video. We're going to be working on a giant laboratory kind of thing for mystical agriculture. I've already got it cleared out, and it's actually the entrance to it is on screen. I wonder if you can find out where we're putting it. Anyways, guys, see you next episode. Peace out. Take care. Bye.